I came from the other side today. Had to hop over the uh, uh, cord. That's what that's called. <laughs> um, hang on, let me get in the live chat. I was just posting that in Discord. Wait, step numero uno. Switch to live. Hit play. Wait, step numero uno. Okay, cool. You all can hear me. That's good. Uh, blah, 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 blah. That's the Soviet National Anthem. <laughs> In case you weren't aware. Uh, let's adjust that. Oh, man. Crack of the neck, crack of the neck. The pool is closed. But I wanted to go swimming. <laughs> What's up, Vino? How's it going? Um, this is a little low, actually. This camera. I mean, I guess it's fine. Eh, whatever. I don't care. Um, yeah, I've been playing on two separate things. I, I got on the stream just to do, or the stream save, just to do a little bit of, uh, customization and stuff. Um, you know, just to tweak some things. But no actual gameplay, as if that really matters. That's not really the point of these streams. Um, uh, the point of these streams is to discuss politics, and that's, uh, you know, that's a little divisive. I know a lot of people on the channel are like, ah, I don't want to talk about politics, I just want to come hang out with you for fun, but you've been watching creepy bosses for the last two hours? Oh lord, it's poopy. That's the creepy stuff. What kind of creepy bosses? Any fun ones? Oh, but I, I feel like I need to discuss politics every once in a while just to get it off my chest. No sleep for me. <laughs> ah, you can sleep. You're just gonna wake up halfway through the night thinking you're being eaten by a, a demon or something. Oh lord, excuse me. So, uh, the idea behind this stream is to discuss the merits and, uh, and shortcomings of social justice as, a uh, a political lens. Wait, what is... Why is there a... Hey, Commander. There's a, a little thing at the bottom there that shows, like, I can staff a soldier here? What? This one, is that a thing? What? Why... What? what can I do for you, Commander? Whatever, man. The commander around oh, I like can start building a, a spark dude, right? Through. Hang on, let I don't see. think I've ever seen Bradford this happy. Or did I say Stark Spark? Even though he and the spark required, right? Because I did the thing last time. The oh, I have to repair I'm the spark if it gets damaged. Now. Okay. As much as the resistance needs our You help, were being eaten alive by a demon. That is quite the plot twist. Hello, Commander. New orders, Commander. Um, Shen, shut up, please. I, no, I, I'm sorry for talking to you. All right, I gotta get myself. Oh, we're working on magnetic weapons. Noise. Good stuff. Um, I'm kind of low on supplies, but I might be able to buy an upgrade. Wait, I'm... Politics. Blah. Um, yeah, so the, the problem is a lot of people on the right tend to look at social justice and say, Oh, this is this terrible thing that has no merit, no value. Oh, we got gorilla ops. That's why I stopped last time. Um, so people look at it as like having no value whatsoever, and then... People on the left refuse to think that any kind of, um, ooh, we probably want to do that one, that any kind of, uh, critique of social justice is, uh, hey, what's up, Sam, is, you know, uh, some kind of terrible racist thing or something like that. So, my goal here is to try to, um, try to kind of understand, oh, that's an annoying one, too. I don't know, to discuss the uh, the merits and whether or not it's actually worth um, adopting as like a, I don't know, because it has value, but not, it's not perfect. Um, so social justice, hang on, I gotta take a sip of water, is a political lens, essentially. Hmm. Um, actually, maybe I could do some customization. Ah, screw it. Um, we unlocked the Spark unit last time, so we got, I renamed him Russian Bot, because I just thought that was funny. 
Um. Yeah, okay, thanks. Thing. Um, social justice is the idea that people who have been oppressed, or groups who have been oppressed, I should say, not necessarily people specifically, like individually, but groups who have been oppressed historically should rise up against their oppressors and uh, be offered reparations for that or be lifted up by the state to uh, to an equal uh, stance. Hey, what's up, Samuel? Russian hacker bot, exactly. I couldn't fit all of that into the name, but Russian bot is uh, it's a good name for our robot unit, I think. Rewatching my favorite show from when I was a little kid, The Land Before Time. Oh, yes, I love that show. Friggin' Littlefoot is the man. Or the, the dino, I guess. I've had this headache today. Right behind the eyeball. Secure the site. Um, I took Tylenol, so hopefully that'll kick in. Guess what? Chicken butt. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so social justice has had some, some valuable things that it's brought about, like, like gay rights, for example. The fact that now gay marriage is legal because people had been oppressed for... The legality of gay marriage had been uh, pushed off and ignored for a long, long time. So social justice groups came around and were like, yo, chill, quit it. And then that lifted up the gay community to be able to marry whoever they want. And that's a bueno thing. So it's not that social justice has no value. Um, the downside is when people... Focus solely on their group identity, and uh, and start looking at anyone who's outside of their group identity as um, as an oppressor, because then that gives them the right to uh, to oppress them back, I guess, or to to hate people for not being the right thing. So that's why you see all these like identitarian movements like Black Lives Matter and stuff like that that end up pushing hatred of uh, of white people or, or feminism, modern feminism at least. Like originally feminism was a good thing. It pushed for women's rights and that was bueno. But now feminism has uh, gotten to the point where women have equal opportunities to men in most scenarios if not all. And, uh, so now feminism has turned into this, this, like, push against men, specifically. Guess what? Why? Hey, Sandy's here. What's up, my girl? You watching the TV show and the 14 movies? I didn't even realize there were that many. That's crazy. Um, Nick, or I mean, yeah, Nikki, aka Bella, was here. Uh, she was like the only one here for a little while last stream when that, uh, who was that, a ranger, I guess? Oh man, I did a sprint with her, I, I can't select her, I think it's a ranger. Um, anyway, when this, when this chick over here leveled up, so, it's named after Bella now. Might be going on a date, ooh, Tuesday and Friday, oh, it's a double, I guess it's not a double date, it's a, a multi-date, that's what it's called. I guess. Um, what do we gotta do? Oh, we gotta destroy that thing in eight turns. Okay. I'm I'm like running on autopilot for the XCOM decisions, so there's gonna be mistakes, but what can you do? Ah, that's okay, dude. I mean, it, it's nerve-wracking, I guess, but no reason to be scared about it. Closing on target position now. Oh, man, the headache. Ah, it's coming in waves. The problem with these robot dudes is that they can't, uh, they can't use cover. So, like, if I move him here, there's no cover icon, because he just kind of stands there. So, that's a bit of an issue. I guess I'm going to move him there anyway, just because he's, uh, it'll keep him hidden if those guys inside the building move. He's your type. Oh, nice! He's really cute and adorable. Oh, wait. 
when I finish get done with the movies and the TV show, I'm gonna start watching rewatching Winnie the Pooh. Oh, dude, Winnie the Pooh was great too. Oh man, it's bringing me back to childhood. <laughs> He's your type. What's your type? I don't have a life, so I have nothing better to do. Well, that's that's a life. Yeah, exactly. Just be yourself. He asked you, so yeah, you got nothing to worry about. He's clearly into you. That's cool. Oh man, this freaking headache. I'm hoping drinking water will help. Maybe I'm just dehydrated, but that's... That's a bad thing. We're like... Not even 20 minutes into this stream, and I'm already low on water. Um, I think it's probably a good time to go shoot the heck out of these boys, right? Let's, uh, do we got something I can launch at him? Yeah, Bella. I think the other guy is somewhere... Oh, crap, which little shadow area is he in? I wasn't paying attention. Uh... Hey, Jake Tapper, move on over. He's ginger like me. I'm not ginger! <laughs> feels old while all these youngins be going out on dates. Well, you... You can still go out on dates, but you're like... You're in a, a committed relationship, right? Uh, crap, I don't want to pop this pod now, because this pod, over Shnya, is going to do some... Do some diddly-dirty work. I'm going to move him back. Heading to that location. Don't get killed? I shan't. I mean, I'm playing on... Rookie. So, like... It's not going to be too much of an issue. Uh, power move and take two water bottles. Ah, oh, you got the big think right there. I don't know why I wouldn't think of that. How foolish of me. Oh, the headache is like the waves of pain are uh, really kind of weighing on me. All right, here's my thinking. My thinking is we go boom, boom. Get a two for one. Oh, the eye twitch too. Okay. So, when I was at college, it, the problem that I had with social justice, looking back on it at least, wasn't so much that it's a bad idea inherently, but that it it was forced on me by, uh, like it was the only acceptable way of thinking. Robot versus robot. Ready? Oh, he did. Hell yeah. You go, Russian bot. Let's try to pop you. Reaction. Alright, now I'm actually gonna put him on Overwatch. Give me a sec. I'm gonna try to uh, pop this pot up here. I can't see them, huh? Alright, you're going on Overwatch too, then. Yes, indeed, indeed. Never been on a date? Oh, what? Well, uh, it's gonna be a good one then. Hopefully your uh, your first one's a good one. Have to look cute. Can I show you some outfit choices? Sure, man. I don't care. Ratatata, Kalishnikov. Hell yeah. You know what's up. Um. So yeah, there's certainly merits to the social justice movement. There are people who get marginalized by society. It's not... There's no argument against that. It does happen. And power structures inevitably become corrupt over time. However, that doesn't necessarily mean groups like Black Lives Matter or Antifa should go out and commit violence in the name of their political ideology. It's, uh... And the... The viewing of... Of the world through the oppressor-oppressed lens, which is kind of a neo-Marxist idea. Um... Can be, uh... Can cause people to look at a... An outgroup. Or a, uh... A group that's not that doesn't agree with them wholeheartedly on everything as some kind of uh, like evil 
you actually use a different part of your brain when you look at someone as an outgroup. Instead of, uh, it's, it's the part of your brain that, that evolved to detect predators, like snakes. Um, so when you, when you treat people as, or you get in your head that certain people are evil because of the way they think, it can actually cause more harm than good. It can let you, it can turn you into someone who's willing to do some terrible things in the name of your ideology. I guess that'll be okay. After we went into the poo, I don't know what I'll restart, start re-watching next. Well, you know, there's, uh, there's options. You'll, uh, figure it out when you get there. I'm gonna fake being confident, I think. <laughs> there you go. Binge watching Doctor Who. Oh man, that show is so good. I haven't watched it in forever. Heading out. I'm gonna move up here, I guess. Watched Winnie the other day while in my depression and cried. Oh, oh no. You miss ASG? Yeah, he's probably not gonna come by the stream. He doesn't really love the political discussions and stuff, but I hope he does. Matt Smith can get it. He's got a weird face, man. I don't understand why people say he's like so hot. I mean, I, I I think he's an attractive sure dude, but he's not, like, like, traditionally attractive, I guess, you know? Oh, she's a grenadier, not a, uh, uh, ranger. Silly me. Running. Here, I thought the political streams were not popular, but everyone's here. Yeah, but it's not, nobody was really interested in the political discussion. I'm just talking, and everyone's talking about other stuff. Which is fine. I'm still gonna try to keep the the political talk up every like fairly consistently, just so that it's not. I don't have to change the name of the stream later. But nobody's getting angry about discussing political views, which I guess is a nice thing. You date him? Hashtag smash. Started watching The Fall with Jamie Dornan and the dude, the dude from Fifty Shades. It's pretty good. I didn't see Fifty Shades, and I haven't seen The Fall, so uh, I don't know. I believe you. I trust your uh, judgment. Oh, I should change my uh, my code name from Tapper, which was just automatically assigned to Ass Tapper, like that, if that'll fit. <laughs> my family's saying stuff like, "Why do you watch that stuff? Aren't you 14? Or don't you have better things to do?" But I just want to remember being a kid, and before I was sad, it makes me happy. Aw, it's it's nice to look back on. Um, on fond memories and, you know, kind of reminisce. There's a, there isn't a, a certain danger in that where you can get so caught up in the past that you forget to look towards the future, but that doesn't make it inherently bad necessarily. No you can problem, watch, I mean, boss. I watch SpongeBob still every once in a while if I'm in the mood. That show is great. Good old Spongy Bobby. I wonder if, <laughs> why is no one ever call him SpongeBobby? Hey, Bobby. Oh, the... oh, man, the headache. You know what it is? I'm talking about politics. Oh, and the, the microchip that the CIA implanted in my brain is being activated to uh, to make, make me hurt. That's probably not true. But you never know. Oh, my God. Oh, they're really mad about that statement. <laughs> That's got to be it. It's not like a sinus headache. It's like a ring. Maybe it's a stress headache or something? Because it's like in this ring around here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ow. I love rewatching this stuff. Yeah, dude, it's cool. He's a serial killer in the show. Get <laughs> the cauldron. Nice. I actually really like um, interesting okay, portrayals of go. serial killers. I find it super interesting to like look into the the depths of depravity that people can get into oh that's right next to the thing oh dude we gotta like chuck a grenade at that break open the door um i'm gonna move up here that's whatever they won't listen now <laughs> cia is greater than fbi is greater than nsa well it depends what you mean by greater like better than i don't know the cia is into some pretty shady shit um more powerful then? 
I could see that argument. In, like, in that order. Do y'all like Taylor Swift? I don't dislike Taylor Swift. Um, Shake It Off got stuck in my head for about a month and a half straight, so there's that. Moving to Overwatch. Uh, Russian bot, you go on Overwatch. Overwatch. Mm, Bella, you go on Overwatch. Okay. Nikki, are you still here? We've got your, uh, the character that's made after you. Tension headache? Yeah, they're the worst. You need to take an approxim for it? Ah, I took ibuprofen. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, ibuprofen, because it's an inflammation. Okay, that works. Yeah, I took Tylenol. That's ibuprofen. It's cooler. Does some pretty shady shit. Even cooler? Uh, not not the cool kind of shady shit. The, this, like, sketchy kind of shady shit. Uh, but if I talk about that, I might get assassinated. <laughs> so. Hey! So yeah, you're our, our token grenadier in your, your cool ass outfit. There you are. Bella. Just want to remember when I was happy, a song will play and I'll remember the song and it'll bring me back to that time and remember being small and happy. When I watch it, I'm always happy. Aw, that's cute. I listen to metal, so no, I don't like her. What, Taylor Swift, you mean? I mean, you can like metal and like other stuff too. But I see, <laughs> I see why you would not, uh, as a metal fan, you might not be super interested in Taylor Swift's stuff. All right, big guy, big Russian bot boy, come on over here, Vladimir Putin, this thing in its place. See what I did there? <laughs> Jesus is a biscuit. Mm, let him zap you up. <laughs> Rock for days, hell yeah. Sketchy kind of shady shit. The coolest, it's not cool. It's like, no, it's like killing dissidents in the US. And, uh. uh no, no. It, it's like the evil kind of shady, not like the cool kind of shady shit. Talking and focusing on the negative and depression only makes things worse. It's very, very true. Always look on the bright side of life. Boo -doo, boo -doo, boo -doo, boo -doo. Watched Avengers Endgame? Ooh! Welcome, by the way, Xander. It's a good, good, good movie. I hear, at least. I have not seen it. Mainly because I haven't seen Infinity War or Ragnarok, which my brother tells me I need to watch Ragnarok, then watch Infinity War, and then watch Endgame. But I kind of fell off with all the Marvel stuff. Oh, Lordy, excuse me. Gotta be thankful with what you got. Yeah, exactly. You've been in a great mood? That's good. Rock is so aggressive for my gay ass. I'll go aggressive on your gay ass. <laughs> Anywho... <laughs> I mean, you don't have to get, like, pigeonholed into... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Phrasing. You don't have to get pigeonholed into a, a specific stereotype. I mean, if you're, like, stereotypically gay, then that's, you know, cool. But it's not like you can't like rock if you're gay. Assassinations are your expertise. You're making me nervous, boy. <laughs> don't look at me like that. watch everything. I'll, I'll catch up eventually. It's three hours, but it felt like one hour. That's probably a good thing. Right? That just means it was enjoyable. Oh, is Tronald Dump the only... Oh, okay. Well, you go on Overwatch again. So, now we just have to kill the rest of the enemies. Which means we have to find the rest of the enemies. Stereotypically gay, cool, more like hot. Mmm. I'm gay right now. Is that something that changes, like, on a daily basis for you, Sandy? Or I'm, I'm confused. On Overwatch. Started a new painting. I'm going to send it to you. Oh, is that what that notification was? Hold up. Uh, where is it? There it is. Oh, yes, I am streaming today. I just got that, too. 
Oh, wait, is that... I mean, I see the gay flag in there. The rainbow flag. But is that Daenerys Targaryen or something? From a rear view? That's pretty cool. Can I show that? I'm gonna show that. Whoa. Oh. It's so white, you can't see the lines. I need you to... Uh... Uh, hang on, let me turn down the brightness. You can see the gayness, though. So gay! Mm, mm, so gay! Mm, mm, so gay! Bum, 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 bum. That's pretty cool, dude. It's nice. Oh, I gotta turn the brightness back up now, though. Hang on. Sorry. Alright, I'm back in the chat. Back! Back in the chat, my dudes! Gay means happy. Oh, I see what you mean. I thought you were using, like, the colloquial definition of gay. <laughs> I don't know why saying it like that makes it sound fun. Can I... I just want to... No, I want to move to... Can we... I want to go to the... I need to go... Yeah, nope. Yeah, right there. Jeez. Repost Twitter? Your mom reposts Twitter. on an A1 sheet of cards, so it's a big boy. Ooh. You can smell the gayness. Dude, I'll smell your gayness. <laughs> um. Fabulous. Every day. <laughs> it's a futuristic warrior with a gay flag replacing an arm. Meaning, oh, I thought it was like a cape. I gotta look back at it again. But I could see that now. Staring into the woods alone, relating to how... Aww. Too deep? Deep? Deep, you say? Okay. <laughs> um. Get away from you. I didn't, I'm not near you. Now I'm near you. But yeah, generally I'm not near you. <laughs> I'm far as fuck, dude. Just a moment. Oh, I just realized I have no ammo. Um, I guess we're using the rocket. Pop, rock, and block it. Stick it in your pocket. You may shoot me down, but I got the rocket. Get him! Oh, oh hell yeah. Alright, got Emperor Dump. What you got for me? Pew pew! Hey, what's up, Felipe? I want some puss? Oh, dude. I never... Never complain about the poop. Uh, the poop. Ooh, that's not what I meant. The poozy. It is a really good show, Doctor Who. Um. You cream. Pie. Wait, what? Whoa! Oh lord! Uh oh, Bella. You are our only hope. Oh wait, no, it's just a sectoid. That's fine. Just uh. Go like there. Yee. And then... No, give him, give him the old grenade launcher. Yeah! Bada bing, bada bang. I'm half finished, so I'm close in the heart. Oh. Want to tell you something, but I think I'll tell you another time. Okay. I'm <laughs> dry as fuck. Oh, God. Oh, it's the mind control. Anybody else Oh, she resisted the mind control. That's, uh, it's like going to college and not being indoctrinated. It's basically what just happened right there. Um, seriously, that's actually a really concerning thing to me. I feel like modern education is not, is not bueno. Alright, God Emperor, let's see what you got. Tell me what you got. Aww. Wait, was that a kill or not? Oh, he did get the kill. That was easy. BRB, gotta check something? Alright, see you in a little bit then. Uh, let's see. Oh, right. So the problem, or the... The basis of social, social justice is... It's based in compassion, you know? It's, uh... <laughs> the newer your jokes. Oh god. Sandy desert. I see what you did there. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
for a crumb? I'd rather get a little something more than that if I was going to go through with something like that. Oh, Lord. Kind of want to say it now. Well, it depends what it is. I mean... If it's about fun and or politics, go for it. If it's about something else, you know, tell me later. But social justice comes from a place of compassion, right? Or someone who's supporting social justice, even if they're not a uh, oppressed group, is... It's coming from a place of compassion for the the disenfranchised and the, the marginalized. Take away the R and the B. Oh. Oh. I can't imagine oh. Are too happy about this one. <laughs> okay. Hell of a job. What's up, Sparky? Upgrade. Mm. Provide high cover to all adjacent squad mates? Oh, that's cool, dude. It's like mobile cover. You can always hide behind the bot. I like it. The way you scared to say something. That's uh, some silliness right there. Always running gun. Um... So I understand why social justice is has kind of gained a foothold in society, because a lot of people feel compassion for people who have been marginalized, but the problem is in the solutions that they seek as a general movement of groups like Black Lives Matter or third wave feminists or... I don't know. You have done an that kind of stuff. Job Those are the two the prime ones, commander. I think. Slowly emerges from the mist. You make me crumb. Oh, God. 144p, gang, because phone battery. Oh, man. Poor you. So, anyway, it comes from a place of compassion, and also, there is a certain justification for the fact that there's severe income inequality in the sense that there as time goes on in a, a political system of any kind especially something like capitalism Commander, that's purely uh, based on something you should know about Julian. on both merit like hard work and also your money makes you money sector. because you can get interest from banks and you can invest that money over. in I new investment opportunities that then make you more money on money. that money you know, so, income inequality grows over time, and it is something that needs to be dealt with, because people at the, the bottom of the income hierarchy, or just any hi hierarchy, eventually get so upset about it, and so understandably upset, that they, uh, that they want to overthrow the whole system, so they rise up. And you can see that throughout history. Like, the... Marie Antoinette said let them eat cake if they run out of bread because she was so separated from the, the lower classes and eventually the lower classes were like, you know what, fuck this and they, they went and chopped everyone's heads off and uh, just went a little crazy with it. Tell me later? Okay, you could do that too. Um, Got in a Skyrim run and lost track of time? No worries, my dude. Just catching up with chat? I see you. Glomps him. Oh, you glomped the heck out of him. We were actually just talking about you. Is it morally wrong to call people gay? I, I mean, you'd have to elaborate on that, but I don't think so. Oh, like just using gay as an insult? I mean, if it's... That's actually an interesting argument, because the, the social justice mindset for that would be that you're Avenger, using like... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Wait, what am I even investigating? Oh, that's actually kind of cool. I'll take that. Commander, the aliens aren't I don't care about down. your stupid they alien facility! Okay, um, so the social justice mindset for that, the argument, or against that, I should say, would be that, uh, that using gay as an insult implies a, uh, a hatred of the gay community and it oppresses them through the use of normalizing hatred against gay people. However, I don't necessarily agree with that because I think using anything as an insult depends on context. So there, it's not a problem with being gay. 
What if I call a gay person a hetero? Exactly. You can you can call someone a, a dirty, filthy breeder, and suddenly you're oppressing the heterosexual community. Like I don't think that's that's a reasonable assertion. Quit my job because got too bad. Oh damn! I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm glad that you made the choice that felt right. That just kind of sucks. You get to a point where you don't car care about what people call you. Exactly. Like, people... I guess the biggest problem with the social justice mindset is that it tries to force society to be the kind of place that is acceptable to people of certain oppressed, mon like, minorities. Racial minorities, I mean. Or oppressed communities, like like the gay community. That kind of thing. Gay, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> it's, is that your mating call? <laughs> ASG not gay? You don't know. Have you ever tried? Why would saying someone is gay be an insult? It's not. And that's kind of the point. That's that's the thing, is that you have to l receive it as like, that's... Are you using gay as an insult? That's stupid. I don't think being gay is a bad thing, so I don't care if you call me gay. But instead, the the social justice view of that is more like... You have to force um, you have to try to force society to stop using gays and insult and treat that as the solution to it. But that's not going to stop homophobia. If anything, it's going to promote it because it's going to say ah. people are going to be like, ah, oh, these dang faggots are all they're all trying to take control of our speech. Nah. That's not that's not how it works. It is kind of wrong to call people gay. Some people take being called gay as a heavy insult. And what I mean by some people is to say gay people. But, th see, that's the thing. You can't force society to stop doing something because people will will rebel against that. The only way you can stop people from doing that... I mean, I don't do it unless it's in a, a joking context. Because I don't think it's actually a bad thing to be like, Oh, that's fucking gay, bro. It sucks. It's like, I don't... It's not my... Not the way I think of it. But... Um... Yeah, that is... It's a valid point. But Sandy, uh... Sandy brings up another good point. That's like, when you get called a certain thing enough times, you just kind of go, oh, okay, I don't care. Like, the, the easier way of dealing with the problem is to just... Reject the insult if that makes sense, and be like, uh, that's that's not offensive. You can say it, and it's true. Like, if I call you gay, Samuel, that's a fact. It's not a bad thing, and if I try to turn it into a bad thing, it's a bad... It's, uh... It's a reflection of my own ignorance, not your value as a human being. I think I have a crush on my best friend. I'm buying. I think I have a crush on my best friend. Never told anyone and only said that because we're on the subject. Aw, well, that's cute. Um, my suggestion would be to probably tell your best friend that you, uh, you might have an interest. Put yourself in this mindset. You're a closeted gay for years and one of your friends comes over and calls you gay in front of your family and get out of the... Well, that's a different thing. Because you... It's not just using the word gay. I guess that's part of the problem. See, uh, I think that's actually on... It's about the reaction to it. Like, if, if a friend knows that you're gay and says, Hey, guess what, everyone? Samuel's gay. That's different from... Like, that's revealing information about you that you don't want revealed. But the response to that can either be... I see what you did there. That's funny. If you're trying to still hide it. And then you can be like, oh, okay. <laughs> Douchebag. How dare you call me gay? You can, like, turn it into some bullshit. Or... If someone's just saying, like, hot gay, that's not, then you could be like, oh, whoa, rude. Like, you, you, it's, it's about the response. There's always two parties involved in any situation, and there are ways to respond to something that limit the negative effects, if that makes sense. 
That's really scary to say. What? Oh, the thing Samuel said, you mean? People literally kept their sec keep their sexuality in for more than 20 plus years and died with that secret when a gay person who is scared to be gay gets called gay. They hate it as it makes them kind of self-conscious. But see, that's... I would argue that the problem there isn't that they're being called gay. It's that they... They're scared to be gay in the first place. That they're ashamed of who they are. And that's something that that person needs to work through and, and come to terms with. Because it's not something that you can change. It's just who you are. Um, literally didn't let any friends over four years because... No, you actually you've got you've got first-hand experience with this, so it's not a problem. There's no problem with making it about you or your arguments about you, at least. I was scared how they would out me to my parents and I would get hurt. But see, it's wrong for someone to tell others about what you are. Exactly. You can always have courage to take it and admit to it. Right, so it's it's wrong for someone to take away your control over the information that people know about you. That's a, that's a betrayal of, if you tell someone a secret and they tell other people that secret, they're betraying you. So the wrongness in that situation isn't the use of the word gay. It's the expression of a secret that you didn't want to get out. Um... Why is that so scary? I'm still shaking because I'm really scared. It's okay. I mean, you... I understand the the response to it, but it's a situation that you can avoid. Excuse me. I'm calling someone straight out gay. Yes, it's down to the reaction because some people don't take it as offensive and others get really easily hurt. I just suggest not saying it all. The problem with that is that as much as I love you, dude, you don't have the right to tell me what I am and I'm not allowed to say. Nobody does. That's the point of freedom of speech. And the reason that we have to be allowed to say whatever we think is so that we can work through our own thoughts, because speaking is the best way of determining what you think, because when you have to put it into words and communicate it, it goes from being some abstract thought floating around in your head to concrete words. And also, allowing people to say, this is why I hate hate speech laws, because allowing people to say the fucked up things that they believe outs them as a racist or a homophobe or whatever it is but when someone is prevented by law from saying that then they it pushes them into the shadows and then you don't know where the the creeps of society are you know cannot control what others do and say you can only control what you do and say right I was kind of forced into coming out, so that's great. Well, that's not good, but is does it not make you happier to be out and be able to express yourself openly and deal with the consequences of that just as, as you instead of trying to hide something? Because the problem with a lie that big especially is that you constantly have to be thinking about what... Um, what you say, you know, calm down, that's good, can't decide about you and your personal stuff the same way you can't decide what people can and can't say, right, exactly, it's a topic very close to my heart and I personally don't like to talk about it as it reminds me of conversations previous with my dad, that's rough, I think what Ian is getting to say is someone is gay isn't a terrible thing, if someone is gay then they are gay, so why can't you put a name to it? Right, exactly. It's like just using the word in regardless of context is not necessarily a bad thing. It's granted it can be a bad thing if someone turns it into an insult, but it doesn't mean that it's something that you should limit with hate speech laws or something like that. I would prefer to be closeted. Maybe once this is all over, we should well, take this ship and go bad, colonize one of their planets. I think. 
I, uh, I mean, obviously you have your right to your own way of dealing with the world. I just, I don't entirely understand that. Like, uh, nope, I thought there was a sneeze coming. Um, I'm going to tell you why on Discord is a sensitive matter. Okay, well then I'll look at it after the stream, because I don't want to accidentally spill the beans on something because I'm talking and not really thinking. Um, oh, we almost got magnetic weapons. Cool. We can also put a workshop gremlin here. Yeet. Speed that up. Um... Another example of the same thing as the word retarded. There's a whole psychological way of things, too. What do you mean? Um. Yeah, the word retarded is... Was actually the, the politically correct term. That's what it, it was invented to mean someone who was slow. Who... The, to replace words like idiot, which was also originally had the meaning of someone whose IQ was below 50, I think, or something like that. Um, and moron was similar, where it had a specific meaning. But all of these words... They're words that are used to describe specific phenomena in the world. Oh, I should change some characters, I think. Right? I should customize Wolfman over there, our ranger, turn it into someone. Into stream. I'm a bit stressed and we'll be back later if I'm better by Oh, okay. Well, see you later, my dude. My ex was and probably still is closeted and it destroyed me. Yeah, see, that's, uh... That's rough. That's why I truly believe that speaking the truth, or at least what you believe to be true, meaning there's a difference between speaking the truth, like the objective truth, and not lying because you're saying what you believe even if it might not actually be true but you believe it to be true so that therefore you're not lying saying things that aren't lies always leads to the best possible outcome regardless of circumstances and we can debate about that how is everyone pretty good my dude straight chilling yo sleeping the whole day nice Retarded equals mentally challenged. Yeah, they're the same thing. There's no... But it's the... Then you you switch to special, and then you switch to... It's the same thing with PTSD. It was... Shell-shocked. And then that didn't sound nice. So it turned into battle fatigue. And then... Uh, like, you just keep taking words and turning them into crappier versions of themselves that describe less... Post-traumatic stress disorder is actually a really good descriptor of what's happening, because it's not just related to war. It can occur in other situations. Trauma or trauma can occur in other situations and cause PTSD. Love days like that? What, sleeping all day? Hell yeah. People always will be offended by what other people say. Right, and that's actually a good thing. Because... Saying something offensive, when you're offended by something, it makes you realize what's important to you. So if, if I say a racial slur, then that means that you understand, and you get offended by that, regardless of the context, even if I'm using it in a joking manner, or in, in the context, like there was this girl who was arrested and fined, if not imprisoned, I don't remember the, the case exactly because her friend died, he got hit by a car while he was riding his bike, and she posted, this was in the UK, and she posted some lyrics from his favorite rap song on YouTube, and it included the word nigga, and she got arrested under hate, hate speech laws, even though it was a tribute to her dead friend and the music that he enjoyed. So... Giving the government power to control speech only leads to bad outcomes. Okay. I 
Eyes on the enemy. You would degrade my brother for experimenting with being trans? Wait, who would? Who what? Oh, oh, your, uh, your closeted ex, you mean? Would degrade your brother for... Oh. Stupid. People should be allowed to do whatever they want. Within reason. As long as it is not causing physical harm to other people. I me make sure I, I believe that. I'm trying to think through all the different possibilities there. No, so long as it is not infringing on other people's rights. That's a better way of putting it. People should be allowed to do whatever they want as long as it doesn't infringe on other people's rights. Because you shouldn't be able to steal, even though that doesn't cause physical damage to others. It infringes on their rights to private property. That kind of thing. If a meaty read... Oh, it's a meaty read, but there you go, it's on Discord. You can read it out if you want, it's just a lot to write. Oh, I see. I... should I read it out? Hang on, I'm gonna skim it real quick, just to see what you're talking about. I personally dislike when people think BP... BPD? Is that borderline personality disorder? Is only something to be attached to females? No, it's, uh... it's more common in females, just like antisocial personality disorder is more common in males. But... It's, it goes both ways. I think the reason that it's more... It's a very similar... Like BPD and Antisocial Personality Disorder, ASPD. Are, they're very similar, but they manifest differently in men and women. So I think they may actually be related to the same... Same causes. They just manifest differently whether you have masculine or feminine tendencies, which is why BPD can show up in men with feminine tendencies, and antisocial personality disorder can show up in women with masculine tendencies. I'm not sure on that. I, like, I'm just speculating here. I don't know enough about it to fully understand, but yeah, BPD isn't just women. That's silliness. Sort of? Nice. Um, free speech gang, where you at? Oh yeah! Hell yeah, dude. I'm a free speech extremist. What's that Voltaire quote? No, it's actually not a Voltaire quote. It's a... Uh, it's from Friends of Voltaire. Which is why people often misattribute it to him. It's, uh... It's by... Oh, crap. What was his first name? Hunt. Something. Mike Hunt? No. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but it was... It's, uh... D what is it? I fervently disagree with what you say, but I'll defend to your death the right to say it, or something like that. The point is, regardless of whether or not you agree with someone, free speech applies to everyone. People of color? That's racist. We don't call them colored people anymore. How dare you? People of color. <sighs> racist. Shame on you. <laughs> Yet it's okay to call me white. <laughs> Perfect example would be calling someone black years and years ago. No one would be bothered. Now so many people get offended. Oh, I didn't even miss... I missed that. The setup for the people of color thing. Um, yeah, exactly. That's absolutely insane. It, you're black. You're white. You're... <laughs> I mean, I guess we don't call Asians yellow. Because that's... They're not really yellow. I guess that's why. Technically, black people aren't really black. And white people aren't really white. White people are like... I don't know, like a like an off white, like a, a a very gentle beige, I guess. And black people are are closer to dark brown, but again, there's this spectrum in there. It's more of a racial identifier than a than a skin color identifier, if that makes sense. Because there are some light skinned black people, and there are some dark skinned white people. Greeks, for example, tend to be like more olive skinned or Italians. Y'all sound like my dad? About what? Discord. Oh, I forgot to check the Discord. What's up, Nicholas? Oh, oh god, I missed some things. I said people of color on stream. Report it. No, don't do that. I'm a racist only sometimes. 
Oh, what's that? Uh, what is it? Avenue Q? Everyone's a little bit racist. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Oh, see, I disagree with that part. So you would let someone ran random down the street yell at me homophobic comments and just stand there and watch, and he said, yes, I'd encourage it? I disagree with that. I wouldn't encourage it. I would use my freedom of speech to call them a fucking retard. And then they go, how dare you say that? You can't say the R word. And I go, ah, oh, okay, you're a fucking asshole too then. And a hypocrite. <laughs> It's actually, I, when I, I'm saying that, that doesn't actually help help me read. It just keeps me from reading. I wouldn't call it a weakness. Well, that's... A problem with them that they turn every conversation you have into something about gay people your parents I mean um, or something political they've never apologized for trying to brainwash you for four years and you've never brought it up well that's why if you've never brought it up they have no reason to apologize to you because they don't know that what they did was wrong that's true um, but at the same time, I, I don't want to read the whole thing, because it's, you know... I haven't actually seen much Avenue Q in general. Unless you're a ginger, then you're just a daywalker. <laughs> oh lordy. Um, hang on, I just realized i got to go to live chat so I can see all the racial slurs that you guys are throwing at me. Call me a honky, do it! Honky honky! What do you guys think of the clown world meme? <laughs> like... Clown world, here's the problem with, another problem with social justice, it's, it gets very focused on language, like we've been discussing. Um, problem with that, and not just language, but like symbolism and stuff. So now the, uh, ready, check this out. Oh, oh god, oh god guys, I'm a racist now, I, that's a white power hand symbol. No, you fucking moron. It's an okay symbol. And when you give racists the power to create racial symbols out of bullshit that everyone okay. uses, you're actually giving them more power by saying that the OK hand sign is racist, or that clowns are racist, or that poor little Pepe. Oh, can you guys believe the hateful smear campaign against Pepe the Frog? I love Pepe. He's my buddy. Clown world is fucking awesome. Honk honk! <laughs> Wait, what? Common sense? What's common sense? I missed that. Um, I'm gay, retarded, mentally ill, and a racist when the other Sandy comes out. What? But I love all equally. You're a racist, but you love all equally. How's that work? I think we have very different definitions of racism. I think the reason I hate straight men is mostly because of my dad. Oof. That's, uh... Yeah, see, that's that's the problem, is... Um... That's not a reason to hate straight men. That's a reason to hate your dad. And you might have perfectly good reasons for hating your dad. But to generalize that to all straight men is not productive. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? The left can't meme. It's actually kind of funny to see some attempts at memery that come out of the reason the left can't meme the social justice left at least because there are some left wing memes that aren't like that aren't social justice memes if that makes sense. So like I make a how did I not get spotted? I just ran into their field of vision. I'm I'm currently standing in an area where I can be seen and for some reason I have not been seen. Boys, you dumb. You are really dumb. For real. You are so dumb. Um, anywho. I hate all people equally. There you go. That's the way to go about it. 
When I waited for the bus and the driver drove past me, I called her a fat ass cow with a pea sized brain. <laughs> Calm down. It's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, sometimes you gotta let the sass out. Wait, did I kill both of them with that rocket? Where'd. Oh no, there he is. I was wondering where he went. Double standards, though, ain't it? That's what straight men do to gay men? That's what some straight men do to gay men. But that's what people do to people. That's not. I don't generalize about gay men. I've met some really creepy gay dudes, and I've also met you, a perfectly reasonable, fun, awesome gay dude. That has nothing, like, generalizing about any single identity aspect is a poor choice. Because no, your group doesn't represent you, regardless of what the group is. Which is why I hate when people say, Oh, you're white, so you have white privilege. There are, I've, I have middle class privilege. That's not the same thing. There is class privilege. There's no such thing as racial privilege. Prove me wrong. I'm just Scottish. Exactly! But you're not Scottish, you're, you're Ian. And then you're also Scottish. That's one of your identities. Alright, I'm, I'm... Flipping it down, flipping around, -ba -ba -ba. scooching down. Slowly, I'm killing the planet to wipe them all out. Oh lord, no! Just very sarcastic. The sarcasm is beautiful. I hate everyone except for myself. Ooh! No filter. That's good though. You just say what's on your mind. Don't hate yourself. To make things better, I hate all sexualities. But again, if uh, if that's the case, it, you shouldn't hate them because of the sexualities. You should just hate them because they suck. You know? I mean, granted, I don't think you should hate anybody. I think the line... Oh, crap. Who is that? Is it Solzhenitsyn? Who is that? The line between good and evil runs down the center of a man's heart. Which, uh, a person's heart. Um... I think that's amazing because you have to keep in mind even people like Hitler or or Stalin were still Seems human durable. beings and they they did some vile horrendous things to their fellow humans but that and they were monstrous but they weren't monsters they were humans and we have to remember that that capacity for evil exists in all of us because if you let that Position now. If you don't acknowledge the fact that you're capable of evil, the evil will come out of you, whether you like it or not. You know? In one way or another. I love to hate and hate to love. Oh, well, that's counterproductive. Gay men are bumholes? What? You have to see their fundamental intentions in life? You mean people? Hitler was gay? I'm maybe. Does that mean all gay people are Hitler? See, that's the thing that I don't understand. People say okay, stuff like, um... Oh, wait, what? Oh, no, Bella got grabbed. I was, I was looking down at chat. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, alright, here's a plan, Stan. Moving we gotta pew-pew pew this boy. Get him! Oh, that's not gonna happen. I didn't really pay attention to the thing. All vegans are evil. Yeah, I hate when people say like, oh, Hitler did X and you're doing X, therefore you are like Hitler and you're a Nazi. No, 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 that's not how it works. Hitler breathed air and drank water and liked dogs. Does that make all dog lovers Hitler? That's not, not a productive mode of being. Um, I, here's the plan. Oh, excuse me. I'm gonna use overdrive real quick. Murder the shit out of this viper. We're all gay at some point. We all get curious. That's true. I experimented when I was in college, and I hated it. But... Target engagement failure. Bruh! That's why I did overdrive, so I had a chance to do that. Jesus! There we go. Alright, Bella. Um... Did you just call me Hitler? Exactly. With this one thriving ball. Oh god, I missed this. 
it's the politics stream where everyone is hating on each other. Yeah, but it's not real hate, right? It's like it's like fun hate. Everyone's a little bit gay. <laughs> um, BRB. All right, see you in a minute. Talking about Hitler here. Here's one for you. Is all the blame on one man or those who followed him without asking questions? Well, that's actually an excellent point. Yeah, I, I figured you meant without. Um, it's not all on one man. It, but he, he did an excellent job of tapping into some fears that were, uh, were prevalent in society. That... He showed a willingness of the German people to uh, it's still moving. to accept a uh, a story, a narrative of uh, a Jewish conspiracy. Because um, they were willing to blame anyone outside of themselves for the situation they were in at the time. We're gonna go ahead and reveal ourselves here. Roger that. But the only thing can fuck an asshole with a dick is a dick? That's not true. You got, uh, you got dilders. You got cucumbers. You got... All kinds of different stuff can fuck an asshole. It's dead. It has to be dead. The problem with, with dicks is that they fuck too much or fuck when it isn't appropriate. Well... I mean... Not always. I, I, I get what you're trying to say, I think, but, you know, not not in every situation. What? Wait. I got stinkified? Oh. These stinkify my dudes. Oh, God. Oh, it's so vulgar. <laughs> can be so sh full of shit they become assholes themselves. I don't think that's how that works, but I like your, uh... What? I just used the what? 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 Oh no! I should've healed Bella! Uh-oh. We gotta finish this quick before that, that poison kills her. Jeez. <laughs> Going hardcore. Uh... Everything's gonna be covered in shit. Everything's already covered in shit. He tapped into the hate for a group of pillow people by playing into their fears. He also... He was an excellent speaker and an excellent storyteller. And that was why it was so easy for people. I mean, among many other things. It was easy for people to accept the Jews okay. as a scapegoat. Go because they just wanted a scapegoat. And maybe there was some kind of innate hatred for Jews that already existed, but, um, but I think a major part of the problem Adjusting sights. was their susceptibility and their willingness to just accept any, anyone who said that they would make things better. Oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to destroy supplies. You just go on Overwatch. Screw it. No problem, boss. Sorry for spelling. Doing two things at once. No worries. Uh, even nowadays, people play the "They're coming for your family. Grab your guns and kill them." View. Uh, well, that's not exactly. I haven't seen Team America in a long, long time. I don't even think I've seen the whole thing. But, um... It's definitely, yeah... I don't see people saying they're coming for your family, so go kill them. I, I see some people saying there are problems with... Like, I, I don't know, you'd have to specify what you're talking about, because I, I don't really see that being particularly prevalent. In hindsight, I should have used that grenade earlier so that I had a better shot on that stupid snake. Don't kill him! Ow! I should be playing better, but I'm just lazy. Ow! Wolfman's about to die. 
Uh, we better get over there quick. Think they got me. So much controversy. <laughs> Who Hitler was an awful strategist? Hell yeah. Wait, I gotta, I gotta read it right. So much controversy. I love it. Yeah, dude. Just copied all that from a Team America quote, but no one got it. I uh, yeah, I wasn't even. I I didn't even catch it. Get dead, stupid viper. Got him. Only the best. Nice job, God Emperor. I love calling Trump the God Emperor. It's so funny. What's over there? <laughs> I mean, not Trump. His name is Tronald Dump. Totally different thing. Not related. <laughs> it's not based on any real life humans. Here's one thing I hate, and a lot of major and a majority of gay people hate too. It's when companies change characters to a sexuality just because it's trendy. Oh my God! It's I totally agree with that, and I I'm glad to hear that it's not just blindly accepted by the gay community because it's such pandering bullshit. It's like, uh, there's some, oh, bump the tripod. There's so many examples of that in comics. Like, I'm not a huge comics guy, but I've, I've heard a lot about that kind of stuff where it's like, oh, yeah, this character is actually gay now. Surprise! Now come buy our comic books. It's like, fucking stop. Um, it's very interesting. It's like they're trying to use and uh, they're trying to take this idea of group rights and uh, use it for profit. Which, by the way, I'm against the idea of group rights. I think all people should have the same rights. And that's why social, that's the pro side of social justice and uh, SJWs, as many often call them, is that they they find places where there are mismatches in rights that are related to communities like certain communities did not have the same rights as other communities i.e. gay marriage is a great example problem is they also look for for injustices and oppression where there is none and then cause a big stink about it like if you want to create a new character that's gay great do it but don't change an old character just because you're trying to appeal to some... I don't know. You can always tell when it's pandering garbage and when it's like actually just like the character's gay. And that's that's a thing. Most politics these days, if you want to push somebody, they play on the underlying fears of the masses. Like what? They made L from Death Note black? Oh, I'm not familiar with Death Note. I mean, I, I understand it. I know of it. Right, they write in the book, and then it, people die. Oh wait, L like light, right? Isn't there a character named Light in that? I don't remember. Using community, which has had so many deaths and threats for something we can't change, and movies are now using that to make money. Yeah, it's bullshit. I don't like when some they change people to being a woman just to pander to women. Yeah, it's all the same, all the same thing when you change characteristics of a character just for the sake of pandering, it's garbage. Um, heavy weapons deal plus two damage and have an air increased area of effect. Attack any enemy within movement range with a powerful melee attack. Oh, dude. We obviously gotta go around punching people with our Russian bot. It raises awareness for gay people and maybe lets young people learn about gay people and that's and how it's okay to have any sexuality. But if it's just done to make money, they can just choke. Yeah, see the problem I have with that it depends when what you mean by young people. I assume you mean people of a an age where they're learning about sex anyway. I I definitely have a huge problem with talking about sexuality to like fourth graders though, or like kids in kindergarten even. Are, are getting these, uh, having these events where it's like drag queens will come and read to them and talk about like transgender issues and stuff. It's like these kids are just trying to live and be kids. Stop trying to force sexuality on them at such an early age. Running things. 
I've got like when they're learning about sexuality and stuff, you can in introduce I've these ideas then. The but there's no reason for a six-year-old to be learning about sexuality, regardless of whether it's heterosexual, homosexual, whatever. It's not, not appropriate. Sex ed starts at six, like six years old. That's repugnant. That is vile. Honk honk, Vino. Welcome to Clown World. If they don't change characters, the media will slam them. Fuck the media. You mean the propaganda machine? Adding a gay person just so you can say, Hey look, we have gay people, give us a medal! Yeah, exactly, it's fucked up. Deep stream, hell yeah, dude, talking about the, the shit that really matters. Or seems to matter, at least, as far as I can tell. Say 12-year-olds, not below that, because it's too young to even talk about that. They should do about learning and such. See, the thing with gay people is that they want their voices heard. Yeah, but now I, I see no areas in which the rights of gay people are being infringed anymore. In Western societies, I mean. There are definitely countries throughout the world where gay people are being killed for being gay. And, um, but yet, for some reason, this is always something that's under, or not always something, because I used to be a member of the social justice movement. I was fully indoctrinated when I was in college to, to believe that social justice could do no wrong and anyone who didn't believe with every tenet of social justice was um was a racist bigoted misogynist homophobic uh d demon <laughs> russia russia well at least they don't have the death penalty it's still as far as i'm aware but um but yeah gay people are still persecuted under law in Russia, I believe. I think you're right. Um, but places like Saudi Arabia and like a large portion of the Middle East and Africa, it's the, they have the death penalty for homosexuality. Nigeria is another one. Wait, since when? Since what? Oh, six that starts. Yeah, I gotcha. Transgender four-year-olds? Oh, They do shoot gay people? Ah, uh, yeah. I'm gonna look into that. That sounds real sketchy. Um, not a fan. Not a fan of that plan. Uh, let's work on Gauss weapons. I like upgrading my weapons before my armor because I'd rather be able to do more damage than absorb more damage. Uh, let's also put... No wait, that's the wrong, wrong room. Oh, cool! We've already got someone in there, decreasing the, the time it takes for soldiers to heal. Yeah, I'm not going to Russia. Wish people wouldn't talk out their arse. It's 11 in the UK. Well, it also probably depends on the school, I assume, right? Or is there, like, a very specific curriculum that's required for all schools, in which case, if that's decided by the government, that comes to bears. I... New regional contacts located. See, I've slowly gone from being fully, not just liberal, but far left on a lot of views, to now understanding the understanding the conservative point of view on a lot of things insofar as I think I see a lot of corruption in government now to the point where I don't trust the government to run a lot of things that I used to think the government should run like for example education I don't think the government should decide what is taught in schools because that's just a road to indoctrination I don't think the government should decide what people are allowed to say, because I think giving that um, that power to the government only leads to eventual silencing of political dissidents. Seventh grade in Finland, and last I checked. National curriculum states 11 years. I still think that's a little young, but I don't know. That's more reasonable than six, I guess. 
Never got taught anything till I was about 10, and still they missed out so much that you should learn. Yeah, that's a... Uh, that's a dilemma. Wait, what's this? Arm to the teeth. Do I get an extra slot? Yeah, okay. I might go for that. What's firing? I should probably pay attention to the game a little bit, right? Okay. Spare parts. Okay. Oh, wait. We should definitely go to Africa. Because uh, Hidden Reserves is a good one. What you got here? Oh, I, I can't know yet. Or I can't apparently know what the, the bonus for the U.S. is, or North America. Everything in the U in North America is the U.S., let's be real here. Canada is just United States light, and Mexico is just Southern USA. Maybe not so much that last one. At six, you were asked if you'd like your child to have a class talking about... Oh, so it's not, like, required at six years old, it's just an option. Still, that's, that's kind of crazy to me. Wish around 12-ish before secondary school I would have been taught about gay people and stuff because I went into that world so lonely and afraid it might have changed my life. Aww. The part of the problem is that no matter where you draw the line there are going to be some people who are not ready for sexual education and other people who are ready too early and for which the line you draw is too late. Excuse me. Like I actually we had a young authors young authors program when I was a kid that was uh, from like first grade all the way through sixth grade I think we would write a book each year and it was like when the younger you were the less of a real book it was uh, what am I doing here mm, let's go to Africa wait Okay, we've got at least one alien facility. So, yeah, let's go to Africa. Um, Commander, welcome back, Samantha. Communications capacity. We can't establish anyway, so yeah, when I was in second grade, systems. which means I was like... Seven? I did my... I was doing a, a book about the human body. And to in my research, I wrote a section contact. about the reproductive system from like a very mechanical point of view, not like, not like social norms surrounding sex and that kind of thing. It was just like Commander, how the human body worked the in general UFO from a mechanical perspective. And one of the sections was about the reproductive system. And, but I ended up removing that section for the, what I submitted because I was, uh, because I brought it to my teacher and she was like, yeah, it's probably not good if you're going to read that to the rest of the class. Um, and looking back, I now understand why, because I didn't really fully understand what I was uh, writing about at the time, I guess. I didn't understand the full implications of it, so, you know, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Primary 7 is when they teach you a little, then high school tells you the rest. Wait, so year 7 or, like, age 7? Because those are different things calm down a lot that's good um there was other stuff I wanted oh right uh, social justice another problem I have with social justice is that it's rooted in this weird neo-marxist I kind of talked about this this Marxist idea or neo-marxist idea of you loud and clear. oppressor versus oppressed except instead of being divided by um, by class like you were in traditional Marxism with the proletariat and the bourgeoisie. You're divided based on racial groups or sexual groups or whatever the case may be. But you're divided into identity groups, I guess is a good way of putting it. Um, problem I have with that is that it promotes racism. It's... so crazy to me that it's uh that it's perfectly socially acceptable to say whatever you want about white people like i don't care people can say whatever they want about me and my race like i don't care about the people offending my race 
I just find it so mind-boggling that in a society that's Avenger, generally anti-racist overall, somehow it's a it's an acceptable norm to be like white people are the source of all evil in the world or like if you go on twitter man they're full of just some of the craziest shit hashtag kill all white people and like literally people promoting genocide but twitter doesn't doesn't ban those people it's just so crazy to me i can't understand why that would be okay Primary, you're about 10 to 11. That's still, that seems kind of young, but it's definitely more reasonable than like six years old. Mexico is spicy, USA. <laughs> I like that. Um, the boys and girls are not the same. Oh, right, I read this earlier. And that's another thing that I don't, I don't understand. This weird obsession of the third, or maybe are we in fourth wave feminism by now? I'm not really sure. But the movement of feminism has now gotten to the point where instead of arguing that men and women are of equal value and should be treated equally under the law now there's this argument that men and women are the same it's not the case it's if that were the case then you wouldn't have to give uh, it blows my mind and this was actually what started waking me up that there to the fact that i had been indoctrinated into an ideology that i didn't actually agree with when people started saying that there are no biological differences between men and women, I was like, wait, 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 wait. Then why do you have to take hormones to transition between genders? Why? And I've looked into it more now. There are differences in men and women even down to our eyeballs. Literally how we view the world. Women tend to have a, a larger clustering of P-cells around the center of their eyes. They're used for... Uh, for analysis of like textures and um, and identifying objects, which is why I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but I know like if I'm looking for something in the fridge and I can't find it, especially when I was a kid, this was even worse. I think um, I would call my mom and be like, "Mom, I can't find the peanut butter" or whatever the case may be, and she'd walk over to the fridge, open the fridge, and pull it out and be like, "It's right here, dumbass," because she's actually got different like. All, she's got a different structure of her eyes that she can act her eyes are literally better at identifying objects than mine where men tend to have a, a larger um, concentration of M cells around the outside of their eyes or like around the edges the periphery um, and in the middle too but mostly around the periphery that's better at um, identifying the movement of objects which is why men tend to excel in sports aside from the fact that there are also physiological differences in like muscle mass and that kind of thing but um the wage gap is not real and <laughs> we'll get into that in a second but um but it's so interesting that like if you think about why that might be back during throughout most of our evolutionary history men were hunters and women were gatherers so women spent most of their time picking berries and like collecting fruits and that kind of thing while men were out hunting animals like deer and whatever so it makes sense that men would be better at detecting and tracking moving objects because they have to track the deer and chuck a spear at it or whatever it is and then women would be better at identifying like valuable objects in their immediate vicinity because they are the sex has evolved performing different functions when we were like cave people or whatever no one is the same and no one is perfect exactly it's not even the how can you say that the genders are the same when not even when two people aren't even the same that's another weird contradiction that i that kind of started to wake me up was uh I is that, you'd make that research you say that I'll there's no differences between men and women but then you say that all women are different and all men are different and you can't generalize about them and then it's like wait so <laughs> all people are different but there's no differences between them how's that work it just it confuses me you're perfect doubt press x to doubt i pressed x to doubt um gonna get some beans oh hell yeah dude wage gap women can see more clearly and men can men see more colorful stuff yeah there's all kinds of interesting stuff. I took the red pill? Oh, dude, hell yeah. 
the uh, not the black pill though. That that shit freaks me out. Like the incel pill. Or I guess there are different things that people refer to as the black pill. Some people talk about the if you're taking the black pill, then you're you're learning the truth about the Jewish conspiracy, <laughs> and uh, and then sometimes people say that that's the the black pill is about how. Especially incels say the black pill is about how women are scumbags and blah blah, and they're basically just externalizing their hatred of themselves and their inability to reproduce. With they're externalizing it onto the and generalizing it to women as a whole. It's really sad to watch, honestly, because I feel like a lot of these incel guys would do a lot better in life if they would just focus more on bettering themselves than trying to figure out why the world hates them. It's like, turn yourself into the kind of the person that the world doesn't want to hate, and uh, you'll have much better luck. I took the blue pill, was hard for about eight hours. <laughs> you should contact your doctor. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I like that. But yeah, the wage gap... I just had an argument with someone the other day. I thought this was like understood fact at this point that the wage gap it's not a wage gap it's an earnings gap at least I don't know about other places but it's been illegal to pay people differently for the same job since based on inherent characteristics since the 1960s so the idea that women are getting paid less for being women is ridiculous it's not that you get paid 70 cents on the dollar it's that those wage gap um, statistics have been um, reached by uh, by averaging all of the earnings of men and all of the earnings of women and comparing them. The problem is that doesn't account for things like like the fact that a lot of women end up having babies, so they take time off of work. So they work less, so they get paid less because they're at home caring for a child because and being pregnant and dealing with the burden of childbearing, which is something that I can't even imagine doing. That's absolutely mad. Um, Sandy Quinn gone? I don't know. Maybe she maybe she dipped out earlier. Uncertain. I mean, I mean apparently, I guess, if she, did, if she didn't respond to that. Took the white pill and I woke up in a random guy's house with a pain in my butthole. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. Oh, that's bad. Um... But there are so many reasons for the earnings gap, not the wage gap, the earnings gap. And granted, discrimination might be one of them. I'm not saying that there is no such thing as discrimination based on gender. It definitely can happen. But to say that the, the earnings gap is purely based on that, not on the fact that men and women tend to choose different jobs, women tend to be more interested in people, men tend to be more interested in things and ideas. So men tend to go into stuff like math, or the sciences, like engineering, or that kind of thing. Or like physical jobs, like being a lumberjack that involve danger. And hey, what's up Aaliyah? And um... Or as women tend to be more interested in people, so they go into jobs like nursing, and like social care, and that kind of thing. On, on average, obviously. I'm not saying this is a hard and fast rule. But if you look at employment statistics, that tends to be the case. And it just so happens that a lot of the jobs that men decide to go into, like being a lumberjack or a crab boat fisher or something, are very dangerous, so they get paid more. Like the... I don't know. Whatever, you guys get my point. My job has a wage gap, but they get around it by saying she has a different job title, so she gets paid more? What, um... What do you work, or what do you do for a living? Damn it, Todd, Todd Howard, you did it again? Who's Todd Howard? That sounds familiar. Wait, Aaliyah, are those puppies in your picture? Oh, the puppies! Is that new? Did you change that recently? Or... Maybe I've seen that picture before, actually. They're so cute, though. Aw, little pupperinos! There's a kid in my class that's so sexist. This kid is really rude and believing... And being gay or bi, I assume that's gay and not guy, or bi and stuff like that is the worst thing you can be. 
a scumbag. Honestly, it's probably a big reason for people being homophobic oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. is because they're afraid of their own sexuality and they actually... Oh, excuse me. And they actually, um... Um... Drawing blank. Oh, right, they actually have, like, these bi-curious feelings or something, and then they're afraid of the implications of that, so they try to counteract it by being vehemently anti-gay and that kind of thing. It doesn't work, by the way. You can't homophobic yourself out of being gay if you're gay. That's just something that you're gonna have to come to terms with at some point and accept yourself for. Security and office building? So, like, what's her title if you're not, um... As opposed to your title. Also, wait. Oh, you said that she gets paid more than you. <gasps> but the but the wage gap between men and women. So so there's a wage gap between women and men, in that, uh, with women being on top. <laughs> Sexism. We need to make laws about how men can't be discriminated against. Like this. Oh man. Madness. Dogs are better than people. Parrots are better than dogs. Not if you like peace of mind. And dogs are better than people. I can agree with that. Dogs love... Although, I don't know. People are... It depends what... Um, what criteria you're using, I guess. Dogs are not better than people at... Programming. <laughs> but, like... I, oh, I just realized Toronto Dump... Should have gone up to the roof, like up here. So that he could have a... no, oh, whatever. And the other sniper should have too. Because apparently we have two snipers now. Because someone else got... Killed? Or like, I don't know. Um... Man, security guard, woman, receptionist, both work for the same company, both in the same uniform. Yeah, but if they're performing different jobs, if she's worked there longer, as Vino points out. If she works more hours, if she... Uh does more different things that require like if she has more variety in her job there all of these could be potential reasons for her to get paid more experience is a big one from day one she gets paid more but again if you're performing the you're her boss and she gets paid more than you do they perform different functions though because being a receptionist as opposed to a security guard has two different it implies two different, uh, different roles, you know? Why can't I see our VIP? Oh, it's an enemy VIP. Oh, we gonna have to bonk him. Um, let's try moving here and see if we got a shot. Same job role? That's actually literally illegal. So that's not good. According to the, uh... Is it the Equal Pay Act? 1963, I think? 63? 62. I don't know. Someone check me on that. I'm not sure. Um, regardless, that's fucked. But, again... You know... Did she have more experience before getting the job? Did she negotiate for a higher wage? Because that's another big thing, is that women tend to be more agreeable than men in terms of, from a personality perspective. Um, so they tend to not negotiate as hard on during job interviews to get a higher wage. Whereas men tend to be douchebags who are like, nah, fuck you, I'm not working for you if you don't pay me enough. So... That's another, another issue. The building just pays more for a female receptionist. You could legally sue them. And probably win. Because that's actually against the law. If there are no other, if there's absolutely no other factors at work, that's literally illegal. Wait, that's illegal! Granted, I don't know if it matters enough, like, if you care enough to actually have a lawsuit over it, but... 
it would be um, understandable and justifiable to uh, to sue over that. Ooh, no, you know what? We go overdrive. We want to be able to rocket them and then shoot them also. As I said, they get around it by just saying she's not security. Oh, I got it. <gasps> I can do a punch! I forgot about that. Okay, so we're going to rocket these suckers. Nope, rocket. Yeah, nope, rocket. Rocket them. There you go. And then we're going to do a Falcon punch! Oh, damn, we got a kill. All right, Sparky. A.K.A. Russian bot. Myrmidian? Oh, no, no, no. We got to to work on that name after this. Falcon Punch! Oh, oh, disappointing. Let's see, Bella, can you, like, launch a nade to not hit? Ooh, that's not gonna work, is it? Ew. How about you, Tronald? Give us a wee grenade. No, that's not gonna work. Ooh, buddy. Okay, we're going on Overwatch. All right, go for the shot, girl. One in three chance. Uh oh, we gotta get, gotta get me out of there too. That car's gonna blow up in a turn or two. Can I read your last comment if I haven't already? Oh wait, I missed it. Oh, I've always been supportive of the LGBT. LGBT community. Um, and I just realized that I'm bi, and I don't see why anyone would think that gay people can't be together. Yeah, that's absolute madness that people would think that. Um, congratulations on like learning something about yourself. You know the. Uh, obviously, you're gonna have to. I don't know. Do some. Uh, you're you're kind of young still, I guess. But... Oh no, my body. Do some experimenting and you know see how you feel about it but Heading congratulations on learning things about yourself Our friend here is but yeah that's a uh, that's some sleazy stuff Remember, that they get around it by being like ah, it's not the same job possible. but on the other hand what can you do why would they want a female receptionist oh because if she's receiving people she's is it like a like a oh dude we got a sexy receptionist so people are more inclined to hang out or something right that kind of thing all right god emperor let's get you up here um what else did i want to talk about black lives matter black lives do matter first of all obviously because all lives matter <laughs> like the fact that those are opposing viewpoints according to the the movements sounds absolutely mad absolutely insane but the problem is that black lives matter isn't necessarily doing things to promote um, and I know this is kind of old news at this point they're not really promoting the fact that all lives matter. There are Black Lives Matter protesters that run around saying they want to kill cops, and it's not the solution. Cops are not the main cause of death of black people. The, uh, obviously. <laughs> um, it's not like cops see a black dude and pull their gun on him and shoot him immediately. And actually, there have been studies that have discovered, like statistics have shown that cops are more likely to shoot a white subject than a, a black subject because they're afraid of being called racist. E even if it's justified, even if the, the suspect has a gun and is threatening them or something like that, they can, uh, it can turn into, no, don't shoot him. Shoot the stun lancer. Those guys suck. Oh. Um, but yeah, it's like the, it doesn't cause any, it doesn't help anybody to, uh, to have black people running around the streets, like, if anything, it adds to the stereotype, the negative stereotype 
about like that racist it, it makes racists it gives racists something to be like ha ah, see these stupid black people being all anti-cop or whatever it's like it just makes things worse not better and it's sad to me Absolutely. that that people are so willing to give into a what well, seems like the easy road to something that won't actually solve anything I don't know it's a bad movement now yeah exactly it, it was formed like so many of these things out of a good idea right that there was a problem with black people being killed by white cops but it doesn't necessarily mean that it, like the wage gap it doesn't necessarily mean that it was caused by racism it could be part of it and it may well be caused by racism but there you have to think about the communities where these things happen even stuff like that kid uh what was that kid's name it was a couple years back the guy the kid like pulled out a toy gun and he pointed it at cops and he got shot because they couldn't tell that it was a toy gun from a distance that's so sad but also did his parents not teach him not to point fake guns at cops well, like that's it's just so sad to me that a kid could be killed because of this innocent mistake on both his part and the part of the cops Right, they give zero fucks if a black guy kills a black kid, right? It's a, it's a rough thing. We don't have guns and security in the UK, and if we get shot, we get nothing extra as it's building, not money trucks or banks. Wait, so if you get shot, you don't get some kind of, uh, like, compensation or anything? Alright, let's knock this boy out. This has been a terrible mission, by the way. I have not been, um, doing well. Um... Let's see what have I missed. Most of the people in my class think that being gay or bi is super bad sin, and it's not right. I hate the people that think that, and I'm really scared to tell anyone in my school that I'm bi. That's, uh, but see, the way that you change their minds is by part of the reason that people have stereotypes or believe stereotypes like that is that they don't have any experience interacting with gay people or bi people or whatever. So they don't understand anything about it really and that leads people to uh to make assumptions that are ridiculous Let, let's nuke this sucker sicky oh shit super discrimination yeah dude knife crime in the uk looks so bad at the moment yeah i've heard that especially in london right like knife, knife crime is just absolutely insane but again, they're they're going about the problem the wrong way. Instead of increasing like police presence in the streets or something like that, they're running around trying to take away people's butter knives and like pocket knives. I saw a picture because they post right the what is it the London police that post pictures of the stuff that they've confiscated. Maybe it was police in some town in Scotland or something. I don't know. I just saw a picture of a from Twitter. That they, they confiscated a bike wheel for some reason as a weapon like oh no <laughs> they're gonna get me with their bike wheel he brought him on him on a he brought it on himself with the kid with the toy gun yeah it it's a really sad situation but as a cop you can't you can't tell whether your life is actually in danger or not so in a situation like that if it was a gun, a real gun, and the cop hadn't shot him, and he got, and the cop got killed, that's on the cop. And I don't know about you, but if someone's pointing a gun at me, I'm not gonna risk my own life to, on the off chance that it's a fake gun. It's sad, and I wish stuff like that didn't happen, but. When it comes down to it, it's, it's parenting, you know? 
if, if his parents had taught him how to interact with cops in a, a reasonable way, it, it might be different, but... I don't know. Oh well. If they hire a receptionist, it costs 10 to 15 pounds an hour. If you hire a security company and ask for a female guard receptionist, you pay... Oh. So it's all about the money money. They don't need to pay sick pay or anything as the security company has to replace them if they're not there. I see. So because they're hiring through a security company, it's cheaper. I get it. That's such a... I hate slimy business practices like that. I mean, I guess I understand they have to protect their bottom line, but it, it's so scummy. ICT and good pay for days. ICT? What's that? Swedish no-go zones? Oh, lord. Yeah, the cop had to do it. Exactly. If the co if the kid had had a real gun and had pointed it at the cops and then had turned around and shot someone on the street, that's also on the cop. So, that's a good point. It's not just the cops' lives that they're protecting, but it's the lives of other people. It's the kids waving a fake gun around like if you're carrying a gun and you didn't do anything wrong and the cops stop you and they go like drop your weapon you drop your weapon it doesn't matter if it's fake or if it's a legal firearm that you bought through like you got a background check or whatever is required regard depending on your state or whatever it's you you listen to the cops no matter what they tell you to do, even if what they tell you to do is a breach of their job, because then you can fight it in court later. But in the moment, listen to what the cop says, and you get their badge number and dispute it later. And possibly get the... you get paid off for, like... not paid off. Like, you get compensation for the bad stuff they done did. Thanks for being supportive. Just wanted to say that I was really scared, but thanks for being like, yeah, there, there was no reason to be scared. We're a, we're a loving crew. Nobody's gonna judge you for, uh, for being who you are. Gonna go? Okay, well, thanks for hanging out, Nikki. It's been fun chilling with you. And thanks for your help in fighting the aliens. We, uh... You got a, got a couple kills today in, you know, alien world, Seems in XCOM world. Information and communication technologies. Ah, I see. So wait, now I gotta scooch back up. Oh, so there's good pay in that, I see what you're saying, in that field. Je comprends. Oh, I didn't even see the advanced trooper there. I was not paying attention. Um, let's go for the mech. Oh, wait, no, I, I wanted to leave the... I wanted to evac. Training, I'm a like, I specifically moved everyone in range to where they could evac that turn, and instead I, uh, I done goofed. Does Tronald Dump have death from above yet? I guess we'll find out. Does he get another action now? Do! Alright, take a shot. Who got him? I was really scared to sit, say anything, but I'm glad I did. Yeah, I'm glad you did too. And you're quite welcome. For, you know, just being chill, I guess. I assume that's what the thanks is for. I think the problem with uh, something that's adding to race relations, maybe not the only problem, I shouldn't say that, but uh, a problem with race relations in America right now is that people aren't willing to talk about stuff reasonably. It's, it's very common for people to... Um, what am I doing? Uh, I want to evac everyone at the same turn, except maybe me and the, the VIP. Let's just get me out of here. Um, but the, like, people aren't willing to talk about things. As soon as you start talking about race, with certain people at least, you're immediately labeled a racist. And that doesn't help solve anything. My ex-girlfriend knew a bi-girl. Wow, that's a 
a hell of a um, separation there. My ex-girlfriend knew someone who was by. Uh. Location confirmed. It's a really religious area, so that was a big no-no. Oh no, that's uh, that's not good. <sighs> I'm all over it. See, I don't have any problem with religion as a concept. I have a problem with certain religious people who end up persecuting other people. And depending on the situation, it can affect the severity of the persecution, you know? Like, it, sometimes it's just like social shunning of, uh, of someone who's gay or something. Sometimes it's like stoning them to death or that kind of thing. Obviously, here. there's a, a hierarchy oh, there vehicle. of what's more Just acceptable or less acceptable. But still, I hate that when people use their religion as a prescriptive uh, as a prescription of of morality that they apply to other people. really sucks that people think people can't be together just because they're the same gender. Yeah, it's like, you can uh, do what you want. I don't... Again, if if it's not affecting, if it's not infringing on someone else's rights, who cares? It's not it's silliness. Um, but then, I also have a problem with atheists who say that religion should be outlawed in the United States, or the, or they... They, you know, treat people, they find out that someone's a Christian or a, or a Jew or a Muslim or whatever, and they treat them differently because of the fact that they're religious. I, I mean, it, again, it all comes down to who starts being an asshole first. If the, if the, the hardcore fundamentalist Christian comes up to the atheist and says, you're going to hell because you don't believe in God and all that stuff, then all of a sudden, okay. Treat them however you want, because they they started it. Oh, excuse me. But, um, but to treat someone a certain way just because they believe something, or the, because they were born a certain way, or whatever the case may be, you and your crew I just, have dealt another serious it bothers me. To the it makes me sad. Today, Commander. The world Impressive is full of idiots, work. that's true. And part of the problem, <laughs> is that idiots tend to reproduce faster. But, at the same time, good ideas tend to rise to the top and win out over bad ideas. So, you know. At least when civil discourse is socially acceptable. Which is why I like to have these political streams, because I like to talk about this kind of stuff. And I'm kind of disappointed. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love talking to you guys and I've been having a good time. But I'm kind of disappointed that no one came in from, like, um, I posted in the r slash political videos, and Reddit is very heavily left-leaning. Um, and it kind of bums me out that no one hopped in that disagreed to say, like, nah, you're, you're a tool bag, and you're wrong. I mean, I guess we did have a, a discussion or dispute earlier with Samuel. So that was, it was nice trying to get to the bottom of that and discussing our different points of view on using the word gay as an insult. Um, which again, I don't even, I don't actually use it as an insult, I just think people have the right to do so, if that makes sense. Like, I'll use it as an insult in the context Avenger of a joke. A uh, like, my, my favorite example of that is, uh, in Community, Ken Jong's character, Chang, from the back of the classroom just going ha gay that's like i use that gif all the time but that's not that doesn't mean that i hate gay people it's just like i don't know it's just funny <laughs> i'm a tool bag you're a tool bag <clears throat> i mean um you're you're entitled to your opinion and i'm happy you think that way i, I don't know what am i supposed to say that I guess you do call me a tool bag fairly frequently. D 
didn't want to grow up seeing those things. Wait, what things? My best friend, the one I have a crush on, her parents think you can't be gay and told her if you're gay, we won't love you the same. Ooh. I <laughs> see LGBTQ plus. I'm glad they added the plus because what's the full one? LGBT Q Q A uh I P I think there's a, a double another double in there. Q is like queer and questioning, so there are two Q's. Intersex uh asexual pansexual. This is the last couple. I don't know. But yeah, I'm glad they added the plus to stop it from just turning into the entire alphabet, because that's... Why can't you just say LGB... LGB plus? That, like... I guess LGBT plus, or LGBTQ plus. It's just, it's too many syllables, you know what I mean? I got in, a, in an argument on Twitter with people who said that someone saying something like that was hatred of the trans community. And uh, and they ended up getting his channel banned on Twitch. Setting course for East it's so Africa. sad to me. He was he was like making a joke, the poor guy. And I mean, I didn't agree with some of the stuff he said. Um, but he wasn't advocating violence or anything. He was just I don't know. We're reading you. That was a whole thing. You started that whole fiasco with a joke. What asking if you can call people gay, and then you said ASG gay. Yeah, I remember that. But it was a good conversation. I wouldn't call it a fiasco necessarily. It was a an, a discussion of an important uh, difference that we we have in beliefs, I guess. I can't make any more contacts. No. Oh wait, yes I can. Hang on. Um, I actually I actually like the the base building and the like strategic layer of XCOM 2 more than the um more than the tactical one where you're actually playing like as soldiers and stuff. Is that weird? It's probably a little weird. Communications facility upgraded. Is you gay? Lost internet. Oh no! Well welcome back. Um I thought it said lost interest for a second there. I was like ouch. Okay, fair enough. Ah, okay. Um, let's go to South Africa. Commander, we've utilized all There's actually our probably other stuff that I should be doing. We uh oh, we're getting hunted by a, a freaking UFO. Oh, okay, we're good. Internet broke. My internet didn't break, did it? Internet broke. No, okay, we cool. I'm sorry that your internet broke though. That's a bummer. And a half. Attempting to establish I like to try to get as many. Contact. Oh, there we go. Another mission. Um, I like to try to get as many contacts throughout the world as possible, as quickly as possible, because it increases the amount of supplies you get every month. So, the earlier you can get like a large network of connections, the better. Oh, we're doing that. I don't want them to have any. Yeah, I don't mind a breakthrough. We could just do an alien facility mission. I don't know what that dark event is, but I don't want to be dealing with friggin' poison rounds. And we get an engineer out of it. It's a win-win. Had to get an Ian cable. Oh, a land cable. <laughs> I read that as Ian cable. <laughs> a Wi-Fi dropped off the planet. Oof. She's straight, but supportive of LGBTQ+, but I really like her, and I'm really bummed that she's straight, but if she was gay or bi, I would ask her out in a second. Aw. Well, um, well, if she's supportive, you can at least tell her that you, you like her. Yeah, I mean, you never know. And worst case scenario, she goes, "Oh, sorry, I, I am, I'm straight. I don't like girls." But oh, that's a good point too. If her parents are like that, maybe she just, you know, hides her sexuality. Oh, I changed Jaros, by the way. I don't know if people noticed. Oh, he hasn't been in here yet. 
but I changed him to what he actually looks like in Mortal Kombat. Because, <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember, but I made the Jiras character during the, uh, the Article 13 livestream. And I didn't know what the reference was, so he had, like, green spiky hair and a thick green beard and stuff. Um, wait a minute, I just remembered something. I have friggin' dragon rounds. Hell yeah! And, uh... You can have... Oh, wait, gas grenade. Um... Bella can do the stinky. We'll get some Bella farts going on. Hell yeah! Alright, that's good enough. If her parents are like that, she might not actually... She might be hiding her sexuality. I don't know if I said that or not. If I finished that sentence. Uh, she said she's straight, and she said... She's never said anything about liking girls or anything. Right, but she might be, you know, keeping it a secret. Um, there's no reason not to say that, you know? Not to mention it to her. Be like, hey, so, uh, I kind of like you. I, there's nothing, nothing bad that can come of it. It's not like she's gonna go, oh, Satan! Like, if she's supportive, then, you know, why not? Like I said earlier, the the best possible outcome of any given situation um, the best possible outcome of any situation is found by speaking the truth. That's not good. Where's my cap? There it is. Um, oh lord, we still got like 45 minutes left in the stream. Uh, I'm gonna get real thirsty real quick. Should probably stop vaping then. I love the different names of the missions, by the way. Operation Ice Fist. Some of them are very, um... They sound very much like sexual innuendos. What was one that I found? Oh, it was so funny. Um... Oh, I don't remember now. Oh, it was like Flaming Rod or something. <laughs> I don't know. It was really funny, though. What if she sees me as different like she won't see me as the same? Well, you are different now than you were before in a certain way because now you understand yourself better. Like, that doesn't necessarily mean she'll see you differently in a bad way. If she's supportive of LGBT, then, like, why not? I don't think she'll uh, see you differently in a bad way. That seems... seems silly to me. But again, obviously it's your choice. Like, you don't have to talk to her about anything you don't want to talk to her about. It's up to you. Like, what if she sees you sees every interaction with you as you trying to hook up with her or something like I, I can understand why she might think that but hiding it is only going to make it um, not going to help I don't think it's just going to put more stress on you honesty is the best policy um, what was I going to say though oh freaking uh, Bill C-16 in Canada, which ended up passing, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong about that, but... Um, it was... purported... It's kind of like uh, what Samuel was saying earlier about being gay. Uh, yeah, I, it makes sense to be concerned about your friend distancing herself, I guess, but that's... It's up to you. I personally think it's worth taking that risk because I don't think the risk is very high. But, you know. Anyway, uh, Bill C-16 was about um, making it illegal to use, to not use someone's uh, personal pronouns that they, they choose. Which sounds like a, a good idea, potentially, but it required people to use certain words um, and made it illegal for them to not do so. And in the law, it actually said that 
gender and sexual identity were social constructs, which is the exact opposite of helpful for the LGBT community. Because the argument that's constantly been used, and a pretty solid argument, I would say, is that it's a, it's not a choice to be gay. It's a, the argument used against conversion therapy and that kind of thing. It's, it's, a, it's not a choice. It's, you're born that way. But to say that it's a social construct means that it's not. You're not born that way. So all of a sudden, you can. You're gonna have people saying, "Oh, so it's a social construct? Then change it. Stop being gay. That's not." or stop being transgender, or stop whatever, and it ends up causing more harm than good. Yeah, I like that, but she wouldn't be comfortable with that, then I would never try and hit on her? Right, so you respect her enough to be like, if she's like, I'm not into you, then you wouldn't, you'd leave it alone. And that's, that's something that you could mention to her. Like, keep in mind, it's not just like, I like you, and then her response, and that's it. You ha you can have a conversation after it. But Vino makes a good point. You could not listen to random dudes on the internet. I mean, it's your choice, you know? Do what you think is right. Anyway, so yeah, I guess uh, a major problem with social justice ideologies is that they end up doing more harm to the communities they're trying to help than good. Same thing with affirmative action. It's actually been shown that people who uh, who get into colleges based on um, racial quotas, like like you have to accept a certain number of black people or whatever, it ends up causing them to feel more alienated in college because they... Uh, because they feel like they didn't earn it, or because it's not the right fit for them. It actually has an, a negative effect on the happiness of the, the people that it's supposed to be helping. Oh man, the headache. It went away for a while, it came back. Ay, ay, ay. Ah! <sighs> Feels good to talk about this stuff. I think uh, a lot of the time, like during my normal streams, I try not to bring it up, but I've also been thinking about politics a lot recently, and not talking about the stuff that I've been thinking about, just kind of, oh, we see, we see some bad dudes over here. Do we want to pop that pod? Oh, we've only got the two, yeah, okay, no. Bella, you move up here. Freaking Mirmadon. Oh, I forgot to change his name. You go on Overwatch. Did we just skip a turn real quick? I guess we did. That loaded really quickly. Is this a face reveal? Nah, dude, I've had face cam for like a fair number of streams at this point. What's up though, Michael? JK, listen to us? No, it's your choice. Let's say she's gay or bi and she, wants, she says something like, sorry you're too much of a friend, I couldn't think of you as a girlfriend. That would suck. But uh... My argument to that would be, like, why don't we just go on one date and uh, see what comes of it? And then if it works out, it works out. If not, if we can't think of each other as anything more than friends, then, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, exactly. You can stay friends. It's a face on reveal. You can't see me. Um, but yeah, I did get a uh, face cam a while back. I actually thought I'd, you'd been in a stream since then, but maybe I'm misremembering. Uh, okay, here's the plan, Stan. Freaking God Emperor and Cleaner. You guys go on Overwatch. Freaking Myrmidon. You shoot a rocket at these fools. Oh, you can't shoot through the stupid... I like making him spin, because he just does funky steps. That's a bit of a bummer. Um, okay, Bella, Bella, Bella. Launch your freaking nade. Oh, okay, that ain't gonna work. Alright, you scooch up here, then launch your nade. Oh, it's gonna trigger the pod anyway. 
Gotta go. Oh, well, okay. Hi and bye. It was good to see you. Uh, yeah, and if that happened, what if she distances herself from me and we no longer want to be friends because I made things weird? I don't think you'd be making things weird. I think it's a perfectly reasonable thing to be like, yo, I like you. Do you like me? I don't know. Maybe I'm being silly, but... I didn't see where the other guy went because I wasn't paying attention. Ah, poo poo. Throwing grenade. Well, Nikki's gonna get a kill. You miss all the shots you don't take. Exactly. I'm trying to think about all of the things that could go wrong is only helpful in. Yeah, I can't think of any situation which is helpful actually. Let's punch this fool. Run up and give him great wall of it. Ready? Check this out. Oh, fell good. Ooh, got him. Target destroyed. Hell yeah, he was. Oh no! Oops. Err, uh, shit. Okay. I, okay, here's the thing. Kermit's a little bit concerned team. now. I'm about to commit suicide. No. Kill him. Shit. Okay, we're gonna have some issues here. Back, two out of three babies left. What? Wait, what? What babies? Babies. Ah, I'm out of water. I feel like a dude running through the desert. Oh! Tilting my head back and then whipping it forward again just got me all lightheaded. Bruh! He done mind control. He made a mind controlled zombie. Freaking sectoids. Freaking sectoids! Did you lose one or sell one? That's a good question. <laughs> one of three targets destroyed? No, 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 no. You gave away Snow Angel? Oh, that's a cute name. Yeah, I thought you meant like... I don't know. Real babies? Not that bunnies aren't real ba I mean, they're not human babies. That's the point. They're very much alive. That's good. I really would love her to be my girlfriend, I would never hurt her, never pressure her, never make her do stuff she doesn't want to do, I'd treat her right, make sure she's... So yeah, I say go for it, I think that would be really cute, that would be a nice little... A friendship, uh... Bonus, you know? Oh, we get a twofer right here. It's not gonna do much though. But it's gonna destroy their cover. That's bueno. All right, God Emperor, what you got? Mm, here's the thing, you don't want to shoot the zombies, because killing the sectoids makes the zombies go away anyway. Let's try to get a crit on this guy, get a, a one-shot kill. Oh, that's the opposite of a crit. Well, Rhea's with, sitting with me, he says hello. Well, hi, little guy! So cutie patootie! <laughs> Fucking yeet that love on her. Yeah, exactly. Just yeet. take my love. My sweet, sweet love. Um, okay. So, I'm thinking overdrive. Step numero, numero one -o. Where's that shield bearer? Did he run inside? Yeah, he did. Um, step numero doso is this bit of a funky one. Oh wait no definitely don't want to destroy the objective go up a level oh god oh the camera go up high enough to hit that guy but low enough to also hit the shield bearer ideally come on get him please tell me that didn't break the thing oh baby that was beautiful Y'all seen that? You done seen it? Alright, give me a sec. 
What about her parents? They would disown her and that would be terrible. Not if she kept it a secret. I mean, it would be terrible if that were to happen, but you don't have to let it happen necessarily. Um, what do we want to do? Go for the shield bearer, the sectoids. Freaking sectoids. The muton is probably an important target too. Oh god! What do we do? I think we go shield bearer first. Just to get the kill. Clear him out. Oh, you didn't get the kill! Alright, kill the sectoid. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Kill a sectoid. Was that a psi zombie? No. Okay, good. Whew. You can only keep a secret for so long. That's true, and I don't think that's probably the best advice, honestly. Um, I don't know. It's a toughie. Um, Alright, here's the dealio. We're going to have to gas nade these fools. Like all of them. Gas nade all the fools. That should get at least one kill. Yeah, okay, so we got the shield bearer. Um, Psy Zombie's gonna die. From the gas. Muton has to move. Which should trigger an overwatch. I think we had an overwatch going? I'm not sure. Nope, apparently not. He's gonna punch the shit out of Sparky. Chunga and Blackie Chan. <laughs> Oh my god, you've got amazing bunny names. Love it. Don't try to mind spin, my girl. Oh, she too smart for you. Oi, Psy Zombie. Oh, he's immune to the gas because he's a zomber. Don't you try to whack people now. Don't you do it. Oh, he's going to smack him in there. No, he just got real close. Okay. Um. Alright, God Emperor. Here's the deal. I gotta reload. Damn it. Um. Here's the plan, Seems Stan. Durable. No. Yes. Kill him. Yes. Now, size zombies down. Not too shabby. As if she's gay or bi, it might happen either way. Yeah, that's true. A good point. I just Hitlered those enemies. <laughs> no, they weren't inside a building. Otherwise, I'd say that's totally right. He's actually taking cover behind my mech. Oh, picking that promotion was a bad idea. The one where he gets. He gives cover to friendlies. Apparently, he also gives cover to enemies. Oh, but he got him anyway! The god emperor, the man! Oh god! Oh, he's amazing! All hostiles are down, area secured? Oh, but I gotta hack the thing still. Uh oh. Wait a minute. One, two. Did I get killed earlier when I wasn't paying attention? Did my guy get killed? One, two, three, four, five. No, wait, okay, never mind. I'm being dumb. At a brief panic ah, moment for a second there. Trump just shot that illegal alien. <laughs> exactly. Oh, man. Is that... Oh, okay, game crashed. Bye, guys.